ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the ball control arms used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. In order to make changes to the control arms in your vehicle, you must lift the front of the car and remove the wheels. This will give you full access to the suspension system. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. In order to remove the control arm, you have to disassemble the half cradle of the vehicle. To do this, start by removing the front mud guards to be able to access the holding screws on the half cradle. On the driver's side, using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, remove the two screws and the nut which connect the metal plate to the cradle. On the passenger side, unscrew the nut using the same tool. Then, using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the last two screws that hold the cradle. Remove the cradle. To compensate for the weight of the radiator, prepare a wooden wedge to hold it in place. Disconnect the ABS sensor wire from the control arms. In order to gain complete access to the control arm screw, separate the tie rod end from the steering knuckle. To do this, we recommend watching the video How to Replace the Outer Tie Rod, Megan 2. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket and an 18mm offset wrench, unscrew the first holding screw on the control arm. Then remove it. Then use an 18mm offset wrench to fix the lock nut on the second fastening and unscrew the screw using a socket wrench and an E13 socket. Then, using a 16mm socket and a 16mm spanner, unscrew the holding screws on the control arm ball joint. Remove the screw. Using a fork, separate the ball joint of the control arm from the steering knuckle. You can now remove the control arm. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. Take the new control arm and remove the protection on the ball joint. Put the control arm in the right place and start by unscrewing the fastenings at a bearing level. During this operation, you will work on the steering system of your vehicle. Regulated and perfectly aligned, it aims to ensure perfect control over your vehicle and regular wear on the front tyres. Checks on tyre alignment, when carried out by a professional, will guarantee that your steering system is perfectly aligned and is in good working order. Finish of the tightening with a torque wrench. You then have to put the ball joint in the steering knuckle. Reinsert the ball joint, making sure to set the metal plate holding the ABS sensor in place beforehand. 
to be able to put the screw back in place at exactly the right height, neither too high nor too low, line up the ball joint markings with the screw. Screw it back in using a 60mm socket. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Reattach the ABS sensor wire. Reinsert the tie rod end, then screw it back in. You can now put the half cradle back in place and screw it in. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.